All right, so we're just headed back from an auction right now. And uh, as you guys can see, we picked up uh, two new things for the farm. And uh, the farm's been through some changes the last few weeks here. And uh, I'll go over those here in a minute. So we ended up taking a few things to the auction, sold them, and then we ended up buying these. We got ourselves a planter and then a new grain truck. Two things we kind of really needed. I mean, we didn't really need them, but we, we bought them anyway. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps the video out a ton, and I appreciate it so much. So, we got a few new uh, buildings to the farm. We've been working on them the past few weeks here. This is kind of just a building where we're going to be working on vehicles. It's just pretty much a shop, is all it is. And then over here, we got ourselves a little one vehicle garage. That's it. One vehicle. It's all you can fit in there. So, that's pretty much just for the GMC. Other than that, we've been working on planting the last few weeks here. Got all the planting done. And today we actually have a crop duster that's over at the neighbors. He's doing a bunch of work for him, but he's coming over here to spray our fields. Since we sold our old sprayer because that thing was just, it wasn't going to work for what we needed to do. So we have hired a crop duster for the few fields that we have. So that's going to make it a lot easier. We're, uh, we're pretty much crazy busy right now because we have hang coming up here. We got to actually start hang today. Like we got a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to get into that. Anyway, the crop duster should be here in about an hour or so. He's just over at the neighbors getting some work done. I've heard him flying around there all day. So hopefully he'll be done soon. He can actually get over here. Anyway, we did get all the hang equipment serviced last year. So this thing is good to go. All I got to do is just pull it out here, check the oil, make sure everything's good real quick, do a quick little check over, and then we'll be good to go. But I find most of this we can actually get cut in a day. So it'll be pretty easy. All right, I think this machine is good to go. So we're going to hop in it here. We're going to get to cutting some hay here. We're probably not going to do too much today. We're probably just going to get a quick start on it because we have so much work to do. So this little section here does not take long. It's just a little piece in the yard that we like to do. Kind of cleans up the yard a little bit and it gives us a little extra hay ground. We get a few bales off of it. Nothing crazy though. And on top of everything that's going on this week, grandpa is coming out tomorrow. So if you guys don't know, i give you a quick recap here. Last summer, I came out here to run this farm. It's been abandoned for three years. Gramps just couldn't do it anymore. And they didn't want to sell the farm, so I just came and took it over once I was old enough here. So he has not seen this place in three years, and he's coming to take a look at it tomorrow. So it should be pretty cool to see what he thinks. But we've been getting really, really good moisture this year, so... I think the hay crop this year is going to be pretty dang good. It's looking like that anyhow. We've got nice thick swaths here so we should be pretty set all right and we are done this so the crop duster is supposed to be here in 10 minutes so just got a call from him he's gonna show up here pretty quick and uh he'll be spraying the field over there that we got seeded a while ago so i'm just gonna put this swather over here for now and then oh i don't know where i'm gonna put this for now um i gotta do a little work on the cedar so i think we'll back it up to the shop there you know what it would be perfect if i could stick it right inside of the shop i don't know maybe we can i mean i don't know if it's too tall oh you know what we might just be able to oh no i don't think so no we're just gonna have to pull it kind of up front to the shop here unfortunately all right, there we go. That's good for now. This grain truck here, this old Ford grain truck. Yeah, this thing's pretty much good to go. We just needed something that we could actually haul some grain with instead of an old gravity wagon. So this was a pretty good replacement. This planter is pretty much good to go. Just needs a little bit of work. Nothing too crazy. So we'll have that up and going. We don't really need to use it this year. We kind of bought it for next year. So it should be pretty good for that. Anyway, crop duster is supposed to be here in a few minutes so i'll see you guys when he gets here all right so the crop dusting crew just showed up here so we're gonna head out there talk to them for a minute there oh yeah there they are so the uh, neighbor owns the grass field right next to our field here it's a big open field and we've also got this long driveway here so they can actually land right here which makes it easy so we have this big field over there a field over there a few more over there we got a lot of fields to spray i'm still kind of questioning why they're out here in such a treed area but uh you know what wasn't that expensive my truck spinning must be a little wet out here. Wasn't that expensive to get it done out here. So as long as I don't have to do it, I don't mind. All right, we're just pulling out of here. They're going to get going here in a second. They're just doing some pre-flight checks, I guess, quick before uh, they head out. So hopefully by the end of the day here, we'll have the field sprayed and that should be good. But real quick here, we got to go pick up a new feeder for the cows. Uh, we did sell all the cows here, but we're going to be getting some more this fall. And uh, buddy of mine, just doesn't want it anymore and uh it's pretty rusty and stuff so he said i could just come pick it up for free there's not gonna be no cost to us and i was kind of looking for something like that well here's the thing he actually didn't say it's free he said uh it would cost me a case of uh brown water 
as they say. So I got to go pick up one of those cases here. So I'll see you guys when we get it. All right. So we just picked this thing up here. It is uh, an old feeder that's been sitting out in the pasture for years. He went and slapped some new rims and tires on it that he got off. Another piece of equipment. I have no idea because the old ones were completely shot. But uh, yeah, that's the only part of this that looks half decent. It's pretty small, but it should work for what we need it for. Um, other than that, we're going to take it back home. Probably uh, give it a quick grind down there. And then uh, we'll give it a fresh coat of paint, I'm thinking. Maybe just a, like a nice black on it or something. We'll see. But yet again, we got another project here. The projects never end. But uh, we, we happen to get a lot of free stuff around here. So uh, it makes it pretty easy to get nice projects. But I think this one is going to have to wait a little while because we got a lot going on uh hold on where am i gonna put this here I'm gonna find a nice place for this i think we'll just bring it around back here for now we still gotta work on the uh planter there so gotta get that done oh hold on i gotta turn off the lights battery's gonna die if i don't there we go okay i would really love to back this thing in here but uh it's just not gonna fit so uh unfortunately we're gonna have to work on it from out here but i do have to go grab a tractor so i can actually hook up the hydraulics and unfold this thing um hmm which tractor you know what? This one has hydraulics. You could just try to use this one. Might pop a wheelie if I hook it up there. Yeah, we'll just try it. It's uh, really not the most ideal thing, but uh, we're, we're going to try it out here. See if it works. I'm not even certain if this thing is going to have enough hydraulic power to actually unfold this. We're going to see. Surprisingly, it's not popping wheelie, so we'll see if it can actually unfold it. Oh, okay then. Isn't that just great? All right, we'll just lower this thing down here. There we go. Perfect. Well, isn't that just great? Okay, well, bit of work to do on this thing. And then uh, I'm hoping we can actually get the rest of the hay cut today. I don't know if we will. Kind of getting kind of getting late. But uh, we're probably going to end up working late. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we ended up getting the planter done there. We got it pulled over there for now. We'll probably put, stick it in the shed for tonight. But uh, for now, I took the old first gen out of the side bay here and uh, just kind of moved it back over there. We'll put it back in here tonight, though. I was just had to get a little bit of work done on this board here. I had to put a new air filter in it. A few little other things. Had to replace the hydraulic line back here because that was shot. So there was a little more wrong with that than I thought there originally was. But oh well, it's fixed now. Uh, back to this little feeder in here. We're probably going to get this ground down. And then uh, give it a fresh coat of paint. Probably put some new tin on this because we've actually got some land out back there. So we'll probably put some brand new stuff on this. Make it look good again. Anyway, the grain truck is good to go now, so we'll back this thing out of here. I want to get the first gen back in. And then I think a few little other things, and then I want to try get some hay gut, because that's kind of got to be a priority here pretty quick. So we're managing uh, to currently move the planter. No problem with this little John Deere. I don't know how, but uh, you know what? As long as we're doing it, I think that's all that matters. Um, we're going to put this thing for now. Okay, so I parked it right here for now until we get some of this moved out of the way. I'll just back it in here eventually. Or, you know what? I think maybe tomorrow I'll just stick it in the Quonset. That'll probably be a better place. Probably going to move a lot of the uh, equipment that we don't need for the rest of the year moved into there. Just so we're not taking room out of the main shop or this shop over here. So, um, I think they should be done crop dusting here pretty quick. And then that's done. What else needs to be done? I need to get cutting some hay. It is starting. The sun is starting to go down here. My brother is back in town for a little bit here at uh, his new house, which is actually just down there. He just moved in there last week. So uh, I'm going to get him to uh, go and get me some Casey's pizza so I can actually eat. I haven't eaten anything all day. So I'll get him to pick up some Casey's pizza. You guys don't know who he is. Uh, he's helped me fix a lot of the uh, equipment around here. But uh, I think he's actually moving in around here, so he'll be actually able to help me out around the farm, which that would be really nice. But he's still got his full-time heavy-duty mechanic business, so uh, we kind of got to let him do that. Well, I think I just hit a rock, and I very possibly might have broken a few knives. Yep, broke a few knives, and I don't have any extra because I was waiting on John Deere's order that's coming in tomorrow. Literally tomorrow, we're getting new knives in, and uh, they decide they're going to break today. Oh, isn't that just, uh, just great? Anyway, I think I just heard the crop duster land back there. So uh, we'll just hop in the truck here, head on over there, see how they're doing. I think they should be done by now. But uh, yeah, no more hang for today, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for hang for now. All right, so I just finished talking to the guys there. They uh, ended up doing pretty well. They got all the crop dusting done on my fields there. So they're just going to park over here overnight. And uh, since that's my neighbor's field and they give him permission, I don't really see a problem with that. But since we can't do any more cutting tonight, um, what else are we going to do? You know what? I'm probably going to get to work on that little feeder there. Probably got to get that done. 
and then that's another project going into the quad set but anyway guys that's gonna be any episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing hope you all enjoy these farming videos i definitely enjoy recording them so if you guys really enjoy them let me know in the comments section and i'll see y'all in the next one i go straight from the bank gassing up the tank cranking up the radio playing old hank it ain't